There's one. Back to the channel ladies and gentlemen it's about i don't know 8 30 just having a cup of coffee and currently we are in south dakota just rented a cabin for the first time ever so this should be pretty pretty neat experience there's a nice hot tub out here big old game of chess back there i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah we uh got in pretty late last night drove through some rain and bad weather but made her safely if you guys are new to the channel go subscribe go check out any of my other videos and uh enjoy oh. all right just locking up the place heading out for the day we got up made some coffee made some cinnamon rolls and finished our coffee and now we're heading out about a half hour later heading to sylvan lake right away that's our first stop so Whew. Well, we made it out to Sylvan Lake. Pretty cool lake. It's got a lot of these rock formations in the water. I did forget to reline one of the poles, so we're only gonna be fishing with one pole today, but I think this lake's only full of trout, so just gonna be throwing a little, little spinner. Yeah, just probably enjoy the first few hours of the day out here and then see where the day takes us. Came out here on a perfect weekend. It's like 68, maybe 69 degrees. But uh, little to no wind. The lake is nice and calm. You came out here later in the year where the weather starts really cooling down. Not too hot, not too cold. Just perfect. Trout or topwater fish, so it's even if that spinner does stay like six inches below, they'll come up and smoke it. There's one. That's a rainbow. Just a little rainbow. Rainbow.
Blaze, Rainbow Trotsky. Want to let this one go? Yeah. We'll just say that was Liza's fish. No. Go. Look, look. Oh, oh I got one. Oh, right in the surface. <laughs> Did you get the hook out already? Yeah. Oh my god, he's so slippery. <laughs> oh no. There he he's, goes, there he goes. He's gone. Oh no. Look at these rocks. Look at these boldest boys. And girls. Oh boy. Oh. Oh jeez. First cat, boys! Rindo. Rindo trout. <laughs> So we just got back from Custer, stopped in that small town to get a bite to eat. We stopped at, it's about an hour wait, but we, the place we ate at was uh, Black Hills Burger and Bun. Top, probably top three best burger that I've ever tried. I mean, burger was just juicy, not dried out. Everything was good. We had a uh, coconut custard pie, I believe. But I mean, everything that we ate there was phenomenal. So 10 out of 10 for that place. Just a shout out to uh, Black Hills Burger and Bun. You guys come to South Dakota, you stop by Custer, go there and eat. 10 out of 10 recommendation. Right now, we stopped at another lake. This is Stockade Lake. I think this plaque's about me. Oh, it's about the hawk, never mind. So we're currently uh, driving Needles Highway. She's driving. I'm filming. I'm sitting. I'm getting nauseous. 
so I made it to kind of the top of uh, Needles Highway. Slice's idea to try to make it up here for the sunset. I almost didn't make it there for a second. I was like, whoa, that burger's coming back up big time. <laughs> but there's the needles. Those little doinkers right there, those little guys. Yeah, you can just see the... Where's the sun? There it is, the sun's over here somewhere just poking through. But we're gonna keep driving. Try to make it up a little higher and then head back to our cabin for the night. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Well, we officially made it up to the needles for the sunset. For, anybody, for any of you that don't know, these are the needles. These are uh, sharp, tall rocks. But I'm gonna stop talking, get some, some good footage. I climbed quite a ways up here to get some good shots. I mean, but look at that view. That was just something else. I don't know if I should trust this tree. <laughs> Got a nice pair of uh, running shoes on though. But it is literally the perfect day to be outside, perfect day to just be out and out and about and doing stuff like this, hiking and just enjoying the cooler weather before it gets real cold. And that's also the time of the year where it's not too hot either, so yeah. We only had about two days here. Rented a cabin for the first time. We're in Custer State Park, so if you guys are ever in Custer State Park, come check out Needle Tower. I also wanted to make a quick point. Liza just pointed out. If you guys are in South Dakota on by Custer State Park or on Needles Highway, make sure to get one of these maps. There literally is zero service up here. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> So I just wanted to do a little night view of our uh, our cabin. I know I probably look a little goofy because I just got out the hot tub, but here's us, room 17, next to Mr. Bear. Yeah. And then uh, we're rocking the hot tub. They got nice little stringer lights out here, nice and cozy. Walk off the deck into the hot tub. And you got your big game of chess over there. Nice little patio area. We got a couple of benches and stuff out here and then a little, little gravel pit full of, I don't know. It's not full of stuff, it's just a gravel pit with cornhole. For you, all you cornholers out there. <laughs> but yeah, we just got the uh, nice little cozy area. And then we got the uh, Black Hills in the back. So, nothing beats it. So currently we are at Legion Lake Lodge. We just got done eating breakfast. We're gonna see if they had any kayak rentals or even a canoe would be cool. But since we didn't get to rent kayaks yesterday, but I don't know if this place is open or not. This is Legion Lake. Maybe we'll hang out or spend an hour or two here, but this is our last and final day here. And then we got a five and a half hour drive home. I think after this, we're gonna go uh, hit the wildlife loop road, I believe. See if we can see some animals. 